Welcome to the first floor of the Park School of Communications here at Ithaca College. My name is Jeremy Menard. I'm the manager of television and radio operations. Uh, Ithaca College has two radio stations on campus, student run, um, and they have full executive staffs of students, full sets of music DJs, as well as uh, sports and news departments. And we have programming that goes 24-7, 365 on both of our stations. VIC Radio is our online radio station, and WICB is our FM station. It's uh, FCC licensed, and uh, it's a music formatted station, just like VIC Radio. Uh, but WICB is broadcast locally on 91.7 FM. It can also be heard online streaming at WICB.org. We have our own mobile app. Uh, we also can be heard on iHeartRadio as well as TuneIn. Going down this hallway, we go from kind of the radio wing. We're going to go towards the TV studios and tell you a little bit more about ICTV, Ithaca College Television, which is the oldest college-run, student-run college cable television station in, uh, in the country. Ithaca College has a handful of studios, but two main studios that are used for television production. A lot of our news programming is broadcast out of here, along with our sports productions. Um, but Studio B is also used as a classroom during the day. We have a variety of programming with just about 20 shows in production any given semester, and those are shows that are produced every single week with about 450 students, a member of ICTV. This is master control, or kind of as I refer to it, it's kind of the guts of the operation here, especially for our television studios. This is where a lot of the, the mainframes can be found, and you have all the cameras, and everything is kind of controlled in here. The one thing you really want to keep in mind is that we have studio technicians, three of which work here in the park school, to help out with our students with just about anything. If they can't fix it, no one can. But really what they do, Paul, Dick, and DeAndre, they're so helpful to the students during the evening when ICTV is in, in production and working in the studios, if something goes wrong, if they need assistance, they are the ones that come and help. You don't need to be a park student. You don't need, have to be you don't have to be within this school or a TVR major. You can be anywhere on campus. We have a lot of Ithaca College students who are maybe physical therapy majors or business majors that take part in both radio and television. Hi, I'm Ryan Varian. I'm the manager of facilities and the Park Portable Equipment Center. Um, this is PPEX, uh, Park Portable Equipment Center and Services. Here, students come in and check out all of the equipment and gear they need for their courses. Hi, I'm Christian Debergard. I'm the portable media production engineer here uh, in PPEX, the Park School. Um, back here in the warehouse is where we keep all of our equipment. Uh, we have lines of cameras to outfit uh, each type of student and their needs. We have Sony X70s for journalism majors. We have the Sony Z150s for television radio students. We also have the Sony EA50, uh, the Sony FS100, and a new line of Canon cameras, including the C100 Mark II and the C200. Uh, so basically, whatever you need, we have it. This wall here, by the way, has a, a selection of vintage Bolexes that are over 50 years old. Um, probably one of the largest and cleanest collection of Bolexes you'll find in any of the colleges in the country. We have shotgun mics, uh, we have um, omnidirectional mics, we have stereo shotgun mics, we have lavaliers, we have wireless lavaliers, headphones, advanced studio mics. Omnikits, your uh, old faithful first uh, experience with lighting here. Starts with the Omnikit, you have three point lighting kits, they get hot, but you learn how to handle safely hot lights uh, that are safe to use in any of the circuits in the dormitories and in apartments downtown. We also have uh, Kino Flow Diva Light kits, very popular, especially for uh, run and gun. Uh, they don't get very hot, they use fluorescent light tubes, which can also be converted to daylight balance. Pen displays. Now you can sit there and make your own work of art into an animation. 
Uh, these are now available for individual checkout, whereas they used to be limited to lab use only. The animation tablet that I showed you, uh, that Cintiq, goes hand in hand with using the Nikon animation kits we have in our animation lab so students can also produce their own stop motion animation.